Okay, here's a, another video and another short video, and this is of the benzomatic butane torch. It's a small torch. It's not much larger, relatively speaking, than a uh, cigarette lighter, and this is just your standard cigarette lighter size, uh, disposable size. And I'm not sure of the BTU on this particular torch, but um, it's uh, good for doing, you know, light work, brazing, a little soldering, uh, doing some plumbing work. If you uh, have, particularly if you have to get into some tight spaces, it's a lot easier to uh, maneuver than one of the larger torches. And it's uh, fairly simple to use. About the only thing that I do not like about this is that it does not have a piezoelectric ignition. You actually have to use a match or a lighter in order to light it. Um, it would be a lot better if you could just hit a button and have a nice spark to initiate the flame. But, you know, I guess it is what it is, as they say. Okay, I'll just fire it up real quick and uh, just give a short demonstration of it. Okay, and this is a soldering tip um, in case you actually want to use this instead of as a torch as a soldering iron. You can just put this in place, fire it up, and uh, let it go. So I'll demonstrate the regular torch function first. Okay, you have an here you have graduations here one two and three I'm not sure if that's going to show up but that will allow you to adjust the flame height so the first thing you want to do is set it on the highest setting which will be setting number three and you have your fuel shut off and when you hit it you can probably hear it hissing away and now I'm going to light it and they say that you'll get flaring when you first start it up and then you can just adjust the flame down I'm switching it down to approximately number two and now I'm switching it back up and you get some flares pretty impressive I'm not sure exactly. Well, they say that it does this, but I don't know. That doesn't seem like it's a good idea, so that is definitely one fault. But overall, it's a nice little flare. It's a nice little uh, torch. Now I'm turning it down to one. And you get a much better, gentler flame. Still getting good oxygen in there, as you see the blue flame. And now I'm going to shut it off. Okay, so this is a nice pin. And in order to use the soldering iron function, you take the soldering part and you screw it into place. Once again, you turn your gas up. Oh, you turn the, uh, the adjustment up. Turn your gas on. And this time you actually have to raise this up, this portion here and it's lit and what will happen over time is this will get warm warm enough to actually solder with and let me see if I can show the flame down in there if we can yeah it doesn't look like it caught so let's try it one more time Okay, so now it is lit, and you can see it glowing orange there perhaps, now oh, there you go. Now this is the soldering iron function, raise that up a little bit, 
to see down in there. And once again, to turn it off, you just stop the gas from flowing. And that's pretty much it. And it has a nice stand to hold it in place while you allow it to cool or between jobs. And it's better to shut it off between jobs and then fire it back up. I would definitely recommend that because you'll never know if something falls on it and ignites. You know, you don't want to start a fire. So the best thing to do is just to switch it off between jobs and uh, or extended periods between jobs. Okay, that's pretty much it. And that is, once again, the Benzomatic Butane Torch. The small size, pin size, I guess you would say. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that.